Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, no reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Keto never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. I, um... Uh, Yagami-san, I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Kido? Hold on, I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 this is all just a big misunderstanding. Or maybe not? Or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me or is sorry son enjoying this? Oh yeah. I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead... Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. Well, what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? But, all right, if they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. <laughs> Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. Shall we? Can you stay with me until I find my taxi? Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. Huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. 
All right. Stay safe out there. Really, guys? Ha! 
Really, guys? Yagami, what are you doing here? Did you come alone? <sighs> yeah. Good. I sent Mafia you home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafia you? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was. You were gonna confess your love, right? Come on, man, be professional. You idiot. Now's no time for your jokes. No? Well, in that case... You were gonna tell her to join forces with Morita. What? Am I wrong? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the chief prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first I'm hearing of it. I'll give it to you, if you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? 
Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. Huh. Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <laughs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe you would do this. The way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? Izumira. I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89... How do we stop him? What can we even do? Well, I was planning to use Aibe's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down. Why I needed to find Shono's lab. But, Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But, it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> not sure this is the time to be relieved. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering, you think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? He could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests him, right? Then, what do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. Oh wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. <sighs> what a day. So basically, it's up to Izumira whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, 
Genda Sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever. Back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps, I'd like to try putting some pressure on Kido again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true. If that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it. You want to go see Okubo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep. It's all pretty much gone to shit. After the Patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Wanna tag along? I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him, too. Yeah, thanks to Sauri san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. Yagami san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Sure, let's do it. You ready to see Okubo? Not just yet, sorry. We'll need to take a taxi to the ADDC, right?
I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Kido without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari-san for that. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're busy. Take a seat. <sighs> well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Would this change your mind? You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Do what you will. Wait, really? Ichinosei is unstoppable. And my testimony won't change that. You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save, and their families. You can't win. Not how things stand, no. But that's exactly why we need your testimony. I have no obligation to help you. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. But I'd rather that than make an enemy of Ichinose. I'm not ready to die just yet. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my jaw is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Don't you understand? No matter what I say, you can't win this trial. But if I open my mouth, I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroi will rescue you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. You might be able to argue for a lighter sentence. Absolutely not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. Damn it, we're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. So you don't think we can beat him? <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in HELL of winning this case! Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure. All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. I said we're not doing it. Please, just, just give it a shot. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to- There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino! <clears throat> I never said anything about running away, okay? But... I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up!
Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. <laughs> <laughs>